everyone, my name is Lara with The Culture Project and today I'm here to tell you how to date. So, you've caught the feels. Maybe it's someone that you've known for a really long time or maybe it's someone that you've just met. Either way, the stars align, symphonies start to play and you're like, dang, what do I do? Well, that's where I come in here today, and we're gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how do we approach this black hole of dating. Step number one, check yourself before you wreck yourself. So before we even enter into any dating relationship, we need to ask ourselves, are we ready for this commitment? Because it's just that, it's a commitment. Dating involves two people in a relationship, and before we enter into that, we need to make sure that we are ready to do our part. So we have to start analyzing our reasons, like why am I dating in the first place? Am I doing it because all my friends are dating and I don't want to feel left out? Am I looking to fix someone like one of Chip and Joanna Gaines' projects? Did I just uh, get out of a relationship and I'm looking to ease that heartbreak or to just show the world that I'm moving on? I think it's important that we take a look at these questions and start reflecting on them because they provide us with a lot of honest content to move forward and to know, am I ready for this? Because we have to remember that dating ends in one of two ways. You either break up or you get married. Step number two, set the standard. So before you start diving into relationships, we need to know, what the heck am I looking for? So one really concrete thing that you can do is just sit down, grab a pencil and paper, and start making a list of things that you desire in another person that you're seeking out in relationship. And you know, don't be, don't be shy, write some things down, things that you're looking for. But as you're writing these things down, make sure that you're determining, okay, what are my non-negotiables? What am I not willing to compromise on? These are the things that value the, are the most important to me and have value in the way I wanna move forward in my life. And I want someone to bring that out of me as well. And I wanna make an important distinction and clarification that we're not just holding up this list to every single person that we're interested in, and if they don't uh, check off one of the boxes, then we just shove them to the side. This list is a reference point. No person is ever gonna be perfect and meet every single one of our standards and qualifications, but it's a really good place to start and can be really eye-opening because then a lot of times when we're feeling some type of way about someone, we lack the clarity to see authentically if this is someone I should pursue. So set your standards and set them right. Step number three, evaluate the prospects. So now that we've analyzed our intentions and we've set our standards, we're now in a place where we can start evaluating those prospects, those people that we're interested in. And what we can do is we can bring out that list that we've made and say, hey, how does this person that I really like match up? Maybe they check all of the boxes and you're like, yes, this person is a great person to pursue and I'm gonna go for it. Or maybe, you know, they check one or two, a few boxes there, and you recognize, hey, I don't really know as much about this person as I thought I did, and I want to dive deeper in friendship before we head into a romantic relationship. Awesome place to go. Or maybe it takes us in another direction where we're like, dang, we got to start waving the red flag here. This person does not check a single box or is not um, really meeting up to those non-negotiables, those things I don't want to compromise on. That's a really hard moment, but I think that this step is super valuable for us because it helps us to know, okay, this person would not be beneficial for me in the long run, and I'm seeing that early on. And it's in these moments where we can avoid that heartbreak and that drama, and we're saving ourselves when we just do these steps earlier on. Step number four, progress with intentionality and clarity. So what do we do now? We've gone through all of these steps, and now is your time to shine, all right? You've evaluated these prospects, you have a decent picture of who this person is and what you're looking for, so go for it, shoot your shot. If you're the guy, you go ahead, you ask that girl on that date. And if you're the girl, heck yeah, show them you're interested. It's when in these moments, when we're open and we're vulnerable and showing that we desire this connection in this relationship, that we're actually able to find this love that we're looking for when we can enter into these dating relationships. So we gotta put a lot of the front work in, but believe me, baby, it's gonna be worth it in the end. So these are just a few tips I have for you today. Dating's weird, go for it, it's worth it. And sometimes we're gonna make mistakes, but in the long run, keep pursuing. Keep fighting for another and for yourself and for the love that you deserve. Thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe and here for more videos. 
Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and check us out at theculture project.org. <laughs>